Your Excellency, Lord Dusade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have come to solicit your help and to propose we forge an alliance. An alliance? Against whom? You remember, no doubt, the attacks that fell upon Hakmed, but also San Mateus, and against the natives. Of course. You told me that different Guardians sent the beasts. Precisely. And the Guardians were manipulated by someone. I discovered who it was. This revelation will not please you, but I have no choice but to tell you. It is Constantine. Surely you jest. What is the meaning of this? Do you know how many men have died during these attacks? Allow me to continue, I beg you. My cousin's sickness shook him to the core. Then, there was a ritual and his capture. And Constantine has fallen into madness. He has been increasing these rituals in order to link himself to the island, to gain power and manipulate its creatures. He is fighting a war against everyone, and it now appears he wants to take control of Tirfredi. He is preparing to attack the Volcano Sanctuary, and I need help to stop him. It is in the name of the Congregation that I come to see you. Constantine betrayed us as well. That's madness. It is complete madness. All of this superstitious nonsense. These absurd theories. I believed you sincere, Desarde. Which does not mean that I believe you now. But no matter. You are in need of men to stop your cousin who has already attacked us. Indeed. And I will ask for the support of all the other forces on the island. We need to unite in order to vanquish him or be drowned one by one. Go and search elsewhere. You have already demonstrated your contempt. I shall not risk the beard of a single man on your ranting. And be happy that I do not declare war on the congregation immediately. Your Excellency, you are committing a terrible mistake. The affair is closed. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. Come and see! I receive beautiful things from our village! Your Excellency, it is an honor!
Hello, Commander. Lord Desade. How can I be of service to you? I have come to ask for your help. I'm at your service, Your Excellency. What is it you want from me? We need reinforcements to protect the sanctuary of the islanders, north of the island. Very well. I will send some troops there. But may I ask who or what they will be fighting? Creatures, in great numbers. And probably my cousin. I beg your pardon? As your men must have told you, he has changed a lot recently. Ever since he was cured of the Malachor and bonded to the island, he has become obsessed with power. He is now targeting the heart of the island. If he succeeds, we're all doomed. I have indeed heard reports of the Governor's peculiar behavior. Since he is our employer, I asked my men to turn a blind eye. But thanks to your help, we avoided dishonor. I won't forget it. If you're telling me that we are in danger and that we need to go to this sanctuary, we'll go. Thank you, Commander. Anything else? I have to go. I also have a lot. Blocked. What brings you here on Almanawi? I came to ask for your help in stopping my cousin, Duke. Did you hear about the attacks of creatures led by strange... Yes, Darens. My cousin was sick. And to cure him, Katasak used the bond. But the power he received from it made him mad. And he started bonding himself in other... He transformed his guardians each time. 
and use them to attack those he considers to be... What you're telling me is terrifying. Your cousin is breaking the balance. He's consuming and will only want to consume more. Indeed. Enon Miel Frichterman warned me that Constantin was now targeting the sanctuary at the heart of the island. I cannot fight him alone. I need allies. I already convinced some other factions to support us. But I also need the help of your people. Because we must all stand together to stop the threat that is... Your will to create an alliance between all the peoples on this island is void. And the call of Enomil Frichtemann cannot... We will be by your side in the battle. I am... And I would also like for you to take this weapon. I pray it will be useful in the fight that is coming. Thank you, Dunkus. Don't thank me. You manage to earn my people's trust, and you fight for a cause that affects us all. May the Earth support each of us. I must admit that I expected Dunkus to be more angered when he learned what Constantine had done. He's a sage among sages, even amongst the Donegada. Enon Mil Frichtemann speaks in his ear. I think he already knew what was happening, even before we came to see him. That confirms it. I made the right choice. Tierfredi couldn't have a better High King. Your Eminence, I... Sir de Sardé. Do you remember I thought that someone must have been responsible for... The... Yes, you thought that this guardian who sent... And I was right. You're hesitating. Indeed. As the person... Res... Uh, does this mean that the congregation has decided to wage war on us? And thanks to which obscure alliance has your cousin been able to manipulate these creatures? Constantine acted alone. And he betrayed us as much as he betrayed you, believe me. As for the way he manipulated these creatures, do you remember that my cousin was sick? Absolutely. And it is said that his recovery was the result of a rather suspicious miracle. Are you telling me that your cousin has made a pact with the... Something like that. He was cured by a Donegad of the island who performed a bond, but the power he received from this made him thirsty for more. ...thus gaining control over the Guardians who were protecting these sacred places. But why attack us? Did his madness make him forget about our alliance? His thirst for power is making him want to control the island entirely by himself. And I know that for this purpose he will soon attack the native's main sanctuary on the volcano. I won't stand a chance against all the creatures he's taken control of. And I need some help. Others have already joined me. 
but we also need the support of Teleme. Having a common enemy should help us forget all the differences that have been opposing us. The idea that we would protect the Sanctuary from an insular demon is completely insane. But you have helped us several times, and I trust your judgment. You can count on our help. My men will fight by your side. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thanks to your wisdom, we have a chance to prevail. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Sir, uh, good people, the cure and wine from the continent. Are oh, your boots?
De Sarde, what can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, De Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I already have the support of other factions, but I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. You can. My men aren't really used to fighting on land, but they will be by your side. You have proven time and time again that we can trust you. Thank you, Admiral. May the winds be in your favor, De Sarde. You'll need all the help you can get. Hello, Glenda. Bjort Tirtomad on all Manawi. What can I do for you? To tell you that men are going to come all the way to the sanctuary. Some Renaigse. I thank you for coming to warn me in person. But our High King has already I am disgusted to welcome warriors of the faraway island. And in truth, we do not have the choice. No. It is all of Tirfredi and Enon Milf. We have need of every able warrior to protect them. You need to prepare yourself as well. We will fight, have no doubts. Because such is our duty. I have no doubt. May the rocks give you their toughness. 
You shall need it more than everyone else. Can I do anything else for you? I must leave. Qua Awelam said. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything? I must... Sir, good people. The cure in wine from the continent.
The cave that Constantine indicated in his note shouldn't be very far. Let's be careful. You probably put some guards at the entrance. my blade and let's go
Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They are sacred places for the natives. Places of connection. This place. This journal. My poor Constantine, you have completely lost your mind. What are you hoping to achieve with these rituals? No Donegad has ever done such a thing. It goes against the balance that we are defending. Enon Mir Frichtemann was right. Your cousin wants power. He is feeding from the strength of Tyr Fredi. So much so that he's threatening Enon Mir Frichtemann himself. He wants to take his place. To think he's been plotting this absurd plan for weeks. He even used us to achieve it. The intruder in the sanctuary was certainly sent by him to scout the place. We'll need to gather allies if we're going to stop him. But we will also have to weaken him and break apart the bonds that he's established. In that case, it would be best to go see Dunkus. After all, he did say that his clan knew how to heal the Earth, didn't he? And Merv is a bit too... hostile. You're right. Let's go and find him.
What brings you here on Omanawi? As I've told you before, my cousin bonded himself in many places before he decided to target the heart of the island. You did tell me, and you must know that by doing so, he has acquired a power that no... That is why I need your help. We need to break some of his bonds in order to weaken... Rest assured, all the Donegada will answer to the call, and with their help, we will heal. However, to accomplish this, it is I who will need... What can I do? During the ritual, the one who is bonding himself spills some of his blood near the base of a stone. And this blood summons a guardian. The only way to break this bond is to have a guardian top. We will be able to do it, but these rituals take a long time. Too long to be... So, in the meantime, you must prevent your cousin. Here. Take these seeds and plant them at the bottom of your cousin's bonding stones. These plants grow very fast, and their roots will prevent him from drawing the strength of Tiff. However, you must be careful, because the guardians corrupted by him will come to defend the stones. Thank you, Duncan. And thank you for wanting to stop your cousin. Don't worry. I will send my people to finish the work of the plants I have given you. Green blood, my friend. Do you? I must leave.
The plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donnygarder of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond.
Gave us at the base of the raised stone. Look, the plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donny of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond.
How are you feeling, my child? What you are about to do is difficult. Don't make it harder than it has to be, Petrus. Fighting against your cousin isn't pleasant, but it's the only logical thing to do. A nicer way of saying he has no choice. Indeed. I must stop Constantine, regardless of what it may cost me. Not only to obtain an antidote to the Malachor, but also to save this island. I have learned many things by your side, and thanks to you, I was able to give my mother back to the Earth. I won't forget this. And this is my land, my people. I will be by your side. You will not go through this ordeal alone. What's happened to Constantine is regrettable. But you're doing what must be done. You're a good person, Greenblood. Then you can count on your old master of arms to protect you. We will all be with you. After all, this concerns all of us, doesn't it? Naturally. We will be by your side to support you both physically and spiritually. Thank you. You have been precious allies, and you are proving once more the value of your friendship. Now let's go. It'll be a shame if we arrive too late. The entrance to the Sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry! How are you feeling? Not I am. What's happening? Now let's. The entrance to the sanctuary has been forced. A fight took place here. Constantine managed to get through. Let's hurry.
Yusade. Oh, I was starting to think that we would all be dead before your arrival. Your cousin has forced our blockade with a horde of creatures, and they just keep coming. I thought it better to stay here, and stop as many of them as possible. Thank you. You did well. I'll do everything in my power to catch him and stop him from carrying out. Keep holding on as long as you can. I need to be able to reach him. Wait, there's a group of creatures coming. You protect me in this battle! I've been poison on my He's right. We must help them stop these creatures. Are you sure? Every minute gained is a minute that allows you to save us. Thank you both. Lady Afra. I know you know your way around a gun. And Kurt, it will be like the good old days. Enough with the talking, Greenblood. Go. And stop, Constantine. I'd hate to be doing this for nothing. In that case, thank you. And good luck to both of you.
There you are. I was starting to think that we would die here. Your cousin just passed through here with a horde of beasts, and he keeps sending us... We won't hold very long. We're not... We are, and we will hold long enough for you to reach the heart. If... But you must chase him. You must prevent him from performing the rich. If Enon Mil Frichtemann... I'm well aware of that, but here comes some more beasts. Stay with my people. And I'll stay with her. One blade more can't hurt. We need to prevent the beasts from following your tracks. Yeah, we could use some help here, to be honest. I wouldn't have put it that way, but the Moridigan isn't wrong. You see? Over and done. You should go now. And may the volcano give you its strength. Well, good luck.
There you are. Praise the Enlightened. Your cousin... ...has already reached the heart. They are also trying to stop the creature. What do you intend to do? Pursue him all the way there and do everything I can to stop him. In that case, may the Enlightened keep you in his divine... Oh no. More beasts are coming! Be prepared! It's my turn. I'm staying with my people. I knew you'd say that. Well, I wasn't going to let the young ones get all the glory. Your help would be a blessing, father. You see? You should go now, my child. Be careful. We are all praying for your success. Thank you, Petrus. Be careful, too. Constantine!
done this but for you for us so that we may live free at last this makes no sense Constantine it's madness you don't understand because you're still attached to the old world this old dying world which to survive has betrayed used and manipulated us and would not have hesitated to kill us perhaps but I've seen death cousin and I understood the vanity of it all. My father's ruses just so he could earn more power. The political bowing and scraping to preserve corrupted nations. I have been offered unrivaled power. Allowing me to get rid of this. To send the old world back to its inevitable death. And to build something new here. Something unique. And this new world is my gift to you. You and I could be its new gods. The immortal and benevolent monarchs. He himself is the incarnation of the old world he is speaking of. He has its voices and its poison. For his own immortality, he's prepared to destroy everything around him. To break millennia of foicles. I implore you, flesh of my land, think of all the lives that will come to an end to feed his pride. Don't listen to this old god. He's like all the others, after all, clinging to life. All you have to do is to bind yourself here, with me, and we will be gods together, forever. After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. 
some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent. And with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malikor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. Zieglinder took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching his back, as he always had. Siora obtained the title of Marl of the Red Spears alongside her twin. She leads them with wisdom, but often reunites with the one she still calls her Karantz. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with the Renaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Dunkas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians, Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. The natives' hostility towards the Alliance has not diminished, and Governor Byrne is in a delicate situation, especially considering some sordid rumors in al Saad regarding the practices of the scholars he protects. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Norts changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Zieglinder's control, the guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. And they did so all the more easily, now that their shadiest members were out of the picture. 